Hi friends and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. Today I'm going to be tackling the walkaway dress. The super awesome Stephanie Canada has given us a challenge, and that is to complete the walkaway dress, or Butterick 6015. The pattern says that you can start making it after breakfast and be ready to go out at lunch. We're going to put that to the test. I was a little bit worried at first because I thought that we would be timed including all our alterations, but luckily Stephanie clarified in the email that you can do all your alterations first. It's going on the assumption that you have bought the correct size pattern. I'm going to be using this super cute batty fabric, getting in the Halloween spirit, of course, and you know what, I'm going to wear this any time of the year anyway. <laughs> And I did also have a little bit of a wobble because I thought I might not have enough fabric. I originally thought that the pattern wanted a full circle skirt, but it was only after examining the diagrams and stuff later on that I realised that it's actually only a half circle skirt. So I do definitely have enough fabric. I know the idea is to do this in the morning and have it finished in time for lunch. My sleeping pattern doesn't exactly gel with that. As you can probably just about see from the clock, it is currently half past 12. <laughs> Chronic pain, what can I say? Hard to get out of bed. I have had my breakfast though and I am now ready to crack on. I'm working on the theory that your average person will probably be getting up at around seven and they'll be having their lunch at around midday. So given an hour or so, I'd say to have breakfast, get washed, all that kind of stuff, that leaves four hours to get the dress made in time to be out for lunch. Probably actually a little bit less than that in reality because you've got to get ready as well. Either way, I am up for the challenge, so time to get cutting out my pattern pieces. Right, my fabric is directional, which is a bit unfortunate, especially considering we've got a half circle skirt going on. But what I've done is I've laid out the front piece and the top back piece, and I've left a bit of room along the top. Theory being, if I need to do any piecing onto the skirt, I've got that strip that I can use from because if I do need to do any piecing, I want to pattern match as best as I possibly can so it's not as noticeable. So the more fabric I've got to play with for that, the better. Okay, so luckily my piece does fit on this. So no piecing involved, wonderful news. I do, however, have a little issue. Like I said before, this fabric is directional. So what I don't want to happen is have one bit where my center front, the bats are all facing the correct way. And then on the other side, all the bats are upside down. The only way to fix this is to have a seam going down the back so I can flip the underneath part and have all the bats running in the same direction. I would much rather have a seam down the back and all I'd need to do is whiz that through the overlocker, should be really, really quick, and then stitch that up and have my bats all facing the correct way than to have bats all upside down at the front of the dress. The bats are going to be on their side at the back of the dress, but that's just something I'm going to have to live with. That's one of the quirks. Unless, hang on. Nah, the only other way would have been to do it like that, but then I'd have to piece it on each side, which wouldn't be ideal. So yeah, Centre-back seam, bats on their side at the back. <laughs> I 
time check, it is 20 past one. So I've been doing this for just short of an hour. These lines are probably really hard to see, but I have drawn in my darts. Darts have been pinned on the back piece. This bit is a bit more complicated because it wants me to slash in here and here. Sew these together and then sew this bit. I'm going to follow the instructions. <laughs> Can't say I've ever done a dart in this configuration before, but we will see. At least this one's straightforward just down the centre. I overlocked and then stitched together the back seam of the skirt. I then stitched my darts and shoulders. Quick time check, it is now just gone 10 to 2 so I've got about two hours left I reckon to get this done for it to be reasonable that you could have this ready to go out to lunch. Everything got a good press. I already had some double fold bias tape which I folded in half again leaving one side sticking out a tad. This was so I could quickly top stitch along it without worrying about catching both sides. I realised I'd forgotten to attach the skirt to the top back piece, so I quickly did that and then got back to attaching the bias tape. Right, it is currently quarter to three and I've got most of the dress done. I have, however, run out of bias tape and I've still got the neck to do. So I've rummaged through everything that I've got. I had toyed with the idea of using some of the scrap fabric to make some but I don't like the idea of it being in the same fabric as the dress I want there to be that contrast so I'm gonna go with some lace I think that will look really really pretty and um, it's in black so it complements and it's kind of spooky so fingers crossed this will look good and it will protect everything enough for it to not fray. I folded over the lace to encase the raw edges and stitched it down. Just gone three o'clock and I am making binding to do the hem. It's not on the bias so it's not ideal but we're winging it here, we're in a rush. It is five to four and I still need to do closures. The closures should take me about 15 minutes. So I reckon at this rate, I would be about half an hour late for lunch, depending on where it was. I attached a strip of elastic to where the front bit wraps around the back. One side was stitched down and hooks and eyes were used to secure the other side. I used a thread bar, I think that's what it's called, and buttons on the part where it wraps around to the front. This was for quickness more than anything. I did later replace the thread bars with fabric loops. I also used pinking shears to finish the seams on the inside just because I'd run out of time a bit.
it's finished. I have it on. Everything is done. The time is 4.34. <laughs> so had I been going to lunch, I would have been a bit late. Bearing in mind I've just got it finished now and depending on where lunch is, if it was a tea date and people were coming then that would be fine but if I had to go somewhere then yeah I could be like an hour late. But it's doable. I think that if I had had some more bias binding, the this stuff, then I would have been okay because there was a lot of faffing about with working out what lace to use around the top and I also had to cut my own binding to do the hem. Reason why I had to do binding to do the hem as well instead of doing like an actual turned hem is because due to fabric restraints I cut it a bit shorter. The fit is okay. It fits okay across the chest, it fits okay across the waist, the shoulders on the other hand. I think if if I hid my bra straps, that could potentially be a style. It could it could be like it's supposed to be like that. The thing with me is I've got incredibly narrow shoulders. So generally like off the rack patterns, they're not gonna fit me. I would like to wear this dress again though. I this because I it's so pretty and it's fun, it's got batties on it. Maybe putting a seam down the front, so taking some of this, or maybe some darts somewhere like here, maybe. That could help. Let me know in the comments what you think I could do to get rid of this bagginess here. Overall though, I really like it. It's so pretty. It gives me such a lovely shape. I've always liked 50s stuff. They just give me that hourglass and it's really, really nice. That's all for this video. If you've enjoyed it, fancy giving it a like, it would be very much appreciated. I'm always open to your suggestions and constructive feedback. So anything you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. If you're not subscribed, but you'd like to, that would be brilliant, but no pressure. And YouTube is telling me that you might like this video right here here. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!